SN1604, also known as Kepler's supernova, Kepler's nova or Kepler's star, was a supernova of type Ia that occurred in the Milky Way, in the constellation Ophiuchus. Appearing in 1604, it is the most recent supernova in our own galaxy to have been unquestionably observed by the naked eye, occurring no farther than 6 kiloparsecs or about 20,000 light-years from Earth. Observation. Visible to the naked eye, Kepler's star was brighter at its peak than any other star in the night sky, with an apparent magnitude of 2.5. It was visible during the day for over three weeks. Records of its sighting exist in European, Chinese, Korean and Arabic sources. It was the second supernova to be observed in a generation after SN 1572 seen by Tycho Brahe in Cassiopeia. No further supernovae have since been observed with certainty in the Milky Way, though many others outside our galaxy have been seen since S. Andromedae in 1885. SN 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud was easily visible to the naked eye. Evidence exists for two Milky Way supernovae whose signals would have reached Earth c. 1680 and 1870—Cassiopeia A, and G1.9 plus 0.3 respectively. There is no historical record of either having been detected in those years, probably as absorption by interstellar dust made them fainter. The supernova remnant resulting from Kepler's supernova is considered to be one of the prototypical objects of its kind and is still an object of much study in astronomy. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Controversies. Astronomers of the time including Kepler were concerned with observing the conjunction of Mars and Jupiter, which they saw in terms of an auspicious conjunction, linked in their minds to the Star of Bethlehem. However, cloudy weather prevented Kepler from making any celestial observations. Nevertheless, his fellow astronomers Wilhelm Fabry, Michael Maeselin and Helicius Roseland were able to make observations on 9 October, but did not record the supernova. The first recorded observation in Europe was by Lodovico della Colombe in northern Italy on 9 October 1604. Kepler was only able to begin his observations on 17 October while working at the imperial court in Prague for Emperor Rudolf II. The supernova was subsequently named after him, even though he was not its first observer, as his observations tracked the object for an entire year. These observations were described in his book De Stella Nova in Pied Serpentari. On the new star in Ophiuchus's foot. Prague 1606. Topic: <laughs> Della Colombe Galileo controversy. In 1606, Della Colombe published Discourse of Lodovico Della Colombe in which he shows that the star newly appeared in October 1604 as neither a comet nor a new star where he defended an Aristotelian view of cosmology which was then sharply challenged by Galileo Galilei. Topic: <laughs> Kepler-Roseland controversy. In Kepler's De Stella Nova 1606, he criticized Roseland concerning this supernova. Kepler argued that in his astrological prognostications, Roseland had picked out just the two comets, the Great Comet of 1556 and 1580. Roseland responded in 1609 that this was indeed what he had done. When Kepler replied later that year, he simply observed that by including a broader range of data Roseland could have made a better argument. See also List of supernova remnants Supernovae Supernova early warning system References Further reading Blair, William P., Long, Knox S., Vancouver, Olaf 1991. A Detailed Optical Study of Kepler's Supernova Remnant. Astrophysical Journal, 366-484-494. Bibcode, 1991APJ. .366, 484B. doi, 169583 Topic. External links 
Light curves on the Open Supernova Catalog. SN1604. Spider at SEDS. Archived from the original on 17 October 2013. Retrieved 16 October 2014.